So I want to just it. jump right into something very current. Your most recent project yes. is Asian chicken salad. You and Bernice Yi. Bernice, she says she has a. She says something about you say yes like Kanye. Bernice Yi. Bernice Yi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Bernice Yi. Hey. Hey. Yeah, check yeah. it out. Yeah. Asian chick, chicken salad. Yes. What was the backstory? How'd you get involved? Okay, so uh, this has been a journey. I met Bernice in acting class. And as soon as I met her, she had this like super bub bubbly, positive attitude. So I was drawn to that. And her husband happened to be from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. We had that connection. And we just hung out, all of us, a couple times. And we started talking about goals for the new year. And they're very like goal-oriented people. And she was like, I want to make... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I thought he was chewing. He, was he chewing on? He's chewing like a bone or something. Or is it ice? For those who can't, oh, it's the ice cube. It's the ice There's cube. an ice cube. Okay, cool. okay. Cole's got a dog, and he's got a, a lot of energy, yes. and he's uh, doing his thing. Right now, he's devouring an ice cube. Yes, yes. But okay. continue. Yes, goals. Okay. Yeah, goals. And she was saying that one of her goals was to get into music. I told her that I was a rapper, and uh, um, pretty much she sent me a bit. So something that she had performed that had done really well went viral on YouTube. She has a really big, uh, not YouTube, on TikTok and Instagram. She has a very big following. And uh, she sent me the bit. I found a beat. I wrote a song from the bit, which was kind of a fun process in general. Um, so I pretty much made it rhyme, told a similar story, but created a character for myself. She came here. We recorded a rough. Then we, you know, you know, did the whole song. She raised five thousand dollars for a music video which was huge we had a, a really amazing crew and it's just she worked really so hard to make it happen the music videos done really well we had a release party and the song is pretty much about uh um how would I, how would you explain it what is it from your perspective actually to I'm me like, there it's it's there's a surface level of what the song's about yes. and then there's a deep level there we of go the surface level is uh, an Asian lady gets run into by some white people who are like, hey, bring a dish to a dinner. Why don't you make an Asian chicken salad? Yes. Exactly. And it's her going down this rabbit hole of like, how what, what's an Asian chicken? I'm Asian. I don't know what this Asian chicken yeah, salad yeah, is. Yeah. And it's her going through this journey of making the salad. Uh -huh. But to me, what I thought was below the surface was it was a really fun social commentary yes. of like, things that we can project onto other cultures and other people that if we don't really know them well or mm -hmm. have intimate dynamics or relations mm -hmm. that everyone could be a part of. And yes. it felt very much like how certain Chappelle show skits used to feel where yeah. everyone was part of the joke. Yeah. There were, there were a lot of different people in on the joke and yes. it just seemed fun. It was very fun. And that is, that's exactly right. You said it even better than I could have said it. So thank you for doing that. But yeah, it's so cool to be able to work on something that was fun and was funny but it did have that deeper social commentary and just all these different races coming together just to have fun and make something fun. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And a large part of the crew was also Asian, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I was just happy to be a part of it. Yeah, so honestly. if you're watching this on YouTube, don't feel ashamed. You can pause right now, pause. go to the description and hit the Asian chicken salad music video. Watch it so you understand the context of what we're talking about. Yes, and I think please. you'll enjoy it. Um, and if you're on Spotify, if I ever get to putting all my episodes on Spotify <laughs> and Apple Podcasts and all that stuff, um, when it's safe, you know, if you're not driving, go check out the music video. Stay safe. But back to you, Cole. Yeah. You've had a really fucking interesting career. Yes. And I, use, yes, I, don't, yeah. I don't swear a lot on this show, but I say it for, for a reason because I want to yeah. emphasize how interesting it's been. Thank you. Um, talk to people briefly about what are some of the pit stops you've had and what have you loved about the process? Yeah, man. Um, a lot of pit stops. That's what I'll say. There's been a lot of pit stops. Um, I feel like that, but that's also part of what I love about the journey kind of, of being an artist. Um, you know, being a rapper, I started at 17. That was like a really big thing to do from where I come from, and it wasn't really accepted. And trying to be that for a long time, but discovering other pieces of myself, whether it's uh, songwriting and the comedy stuff or acting. I've been doing that a lot more. Um, and then making YouTube videos. I make all types of stuff and skits. You discover more. But I think what I love the most is that I make all these pit stops and then I, and I keep going. I think a lot of times uh, people like stop. I feel like so pit stops for a second. Are we talking like 
uh, like failures? Or are we talking like going off in different directions? No, I think just I pulling, pulling over on the journey and either staying in one place for a while or going in a different direction and then coming back. And yeah, okay. and I'll kind of hook it to my journey in a second. But yeah. when I, I use the word pit stop kind of casually, but maybe um, you've you've traveled many roads. Yes. And what some okay. of those roads have been. Okay, cool. Um, there's, yeah, there's been a lot of ro roads. So quick, you know, what I've, what I've done is I was a rapper, then I was just doing regular side hustle jobs. I started doing real estate photography and that became, uh, how I make my money. Uh, as you know, we both kind of did the marketing agency thing for a while. I did that to make some money. Um, but I always was rapping and the business started to really take control and, that is definitely a pit stop where I felt like I learned so much. Um, and I, I learned how to survive as a creative. And that was really important to me was to make money uh, doing something that's still kind of creative, real estate photography, and then put that money back into my creative stuff and be able to make higher quality music and higher quality videos. And I feel like that was the journey for a long time. A long time as in, you know, three or four years until I decided to move out here and this has just been it's just even more discovery man you just learn i'm learning so much more about myself and i'm learning that i'm much more i used to think i was only a rapper like that's all i was and then i was like well, maybe i'm just like a rapper businessman and now i'm i just feel like i'm an artist i just i like all types of art and i love acting has become i'm very passionate about it because it's it's similar to all the other stuff but it's like a different side of me i don't get to explore with with music or with business did I answer your question? <laughs> you did, and you answered okay. it very well. I okay. almost feel like I led you there, you know, telekinetically. You probably did, yeah. Because what you're describing, I often find, is the artist's journey. Yes. And there's actually a really good book called The Artist's Way, okay. which has helped me quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but what I like about the artist's journey is learning to live artfully, mm. where we don't have to... This <laughs> part in this pun, but you're literally wearing a hat. We don't yeah, have to yeah. wear these hats of like, I am Nate Rubin, businessman. Yeah. You are Cole Connor, yeah. rapper. Um, we are marketers. You know, yes. all of those are just things we do. That's they're true. they're ways we show up in the world, but they don't define us. And I think the common thread between how both of us try to be in the world mm -hmm. is living very artfully. Yes. So it's it's kind of been beautiful to be a witness to your journey. Thank you. And see all the different ways you've gone. In all of it rooted coming from a place of art. Mm -hmm.